Alright, back again. Today we get out the old Panasonic 3DO, and I figured we could put in this game here. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Lost Dungeon. So, let's pop this in and play some of that. Now, if you're into dungeon crawlers, you'll uh, probably be into this one. This is a really, really good, uh, fun game here. Uh, it does have some uh, kind of disappointing parts to it, uh, some of those being the controls. They can be a little bit tricky to get used to, but I'll show you that here in a second. Let you watch the intro. <laughs> when was the last time you saw a 3DO intro? Unless you got one of these things in your house, it's probably been oh, quite some time. Let's uh, open up the old disc tray here, pop in the game. One thing about this uh, game here is the music is fantastic. Uh, really, really good music. And uh, really puts you into the, uh, the whole feeling of the game. Uh, like I said, the down point for it is uh, probably the controls. Uh, they're a little bit too touchy, so trying to crawl around and like move around in the uh, dungeon, sometimes you find yourself uh, going a little bit too far left or too far right or spinning around when uh, you want to go straight. But give it a shot here. We'll let the intro go through here and check that out. And this will actually go through the credits first, so let's uh, jump here to the main screen. But that's just kind of the intro for uh, the uh, Lost Dungeon here. A little bit long, but like I said, one thing that really makes the game nice is the music to it. Really sets the mood for each dungeon. Uh, each stage has a really good soundtrack. Uh, even here, like in the, uh, the main menu, it has some pretty good music to it. Uh, through the options, the different options, you can watch the opening demo. Uh, you can watch the staff roll uh, demo, which was basically what was going on in that last part when we skipped out of it. You can uh, <clears throat> load your game data. You can use a default start. 
You can do a character uh, making, so you can make your own characters or design the amount of hit points, etc., or you can end it. So let's just go with uh, default start. And from here you have a huge list of characters that you can choose from. And uh, just go through all of the different ones. <clears throat> you can see there are quite a lot of characters here. And uh, the main character, well, the character that I like to use uh, for myself is uh, Mornak. So choose him. And then down here you can choose the difficulty. Just to, for demonstration purposes, what we'll do is we'll go over here, just do easy, and then uh, press start. And um, if you're into games like uh, Wolfenstein or Doom, very similar uh, with that different aspect of using uh, items, um, and your character has a, a swing meter, hit meter, if you look down at the bottom right hand corner you can see as uh, hit points and then the FD is your uh, your uh, amount of swing so it's your power for swinging and each time you use your weapon uh, it, that winds up going down or you attack an enemy by pressing the start button here you can see your list of items that you have uh, these packs here these are used to refill your uh, your strength basically uh, the bottom meter the FD meter and potions are used to refill your uh, hit points now one thing that I found about this game here is that uh, even if you're being attacked, it's really hard to uh, scroll over to the item because in order to use the item, you have to click on it and then you have to scroll over here to your character and change out the item. If you notice in his uh, hand right now, there's a, a pack right now so that he, uh, when you hit start again, then you can use the pack to heal yourself. So it's a little bit uh, tricky to get to get this thing going here. but. This is the, the hardest part here, is moving around. Uh, as you can see, the camera moves really quickly. But uh, if you go slowly, it's not too bad. Um, we'll go over here and find some enemies. Different items you can pick up along the way, different weapons. You can go up here and you can see, so we'll change out the axe here. We have a morning start, I'm getting hit. I don't know by what. I don't know what I got hit by, but I got hit by something. But uh, going throughout the, the stage here, like I said, the music is great. Um, the controls are pretty challenging, pretty difficult. On your map here, if you look at uh, the red squares, you can see the enemies. And if you go up and you you go next to an enemy and really quickly press the, uh, the A button, you can attack. But uh, there's a short pause in between the attack and uh, the connection, so... You can see that uh, the square kind of fades out and then fades back in uh, after you press the attack button, so... You have to be careful with your timing of your hits. If you press the, uh, the uh, select button here, or the stop button, it'll bring you to another menu here is where you can see different uh, options like if we go through our option menu here let me see here uh, change your character um, change the graph change the way the items are used things like that let's go back here and let's go up here to this one says Chizu Omiru or basically you see the map so you can see how far of the dungeon you found uh, the areas that are kind of blacked out or that are missing there are the areas that you haven't walked around in yet and on the right side uh, the red squares say like living creatures or living things and you have items and you have uh, teleporters that you can go around throughout the game here <clears throat> and save spots so let's see by opening doors you just press C uh, some doors are locked so you have to find a key for them but the music is fantastic I know I've said it probably about two or three times right now, but uh, the controls are really, really hard to get used to. So yeah, I took some damage there. So, some pretty big damage. Go back up here to our main menu. Put this... well, let me see here. Well, I didn't want to do that. Put the potion in his hand. Hit start. Press that. 
morning start back in. Sometimes trying to get the uh, objects or the items is pretty challenging as well. Like I said, uh, when you go to walk over it, if you're not really, really on top of it, really close, uh, it'll be difficult to get. You'll just skip right over it, so. And in each stage, there's a final door that uh, you open up. It'll ask you, would you like to uh, go on to the next stage? And if you click yes, then it'll show you the amount of progress that you've made inside the dungeon and uh, how many of the, the enemies you've hit. Here is one of the warp spots that will warp you to another section of the game. And all the blue items there have to be uh, picked up. I need to kind of get this thing to scroll around the way that I want it to, but uh, these controls are a little bit tricky. Once you get past the uh, difficulty of the controls, though, the game really does have a lot going for it. Um, the dungeon crawlers are a lot of fun, for sure, and uh, the different enemies that they have in the game are pretty cool to see. In the first stage here, you can see basically just the main two, two enemies that are here. In the second stage, they get uh, a little bit more creative. And in your, uh, your item or your main menu, you can add uh, different multiple things to one area like for example for a shield I can add a, a bow I can add uh, uh, some other items that I find here this one's pretty impossible to get at you need to find the warp spot in order to get those uh, items there see where I need to go check the map again okay I need to scroll more over towards the right side of the map up a potion here. You'll find yourself having to look at the map quite a bit uh, in order to find out where you've gone or where you haven't been. Let's see here. Where's this at? Alright, I have to go down. There's an enemy. If you're quick on the uh, the draw there, you can hit the enemies before they hit you. Some places you just can't get into. Sometimes the enemies are just like locked into a certain pit area and you can't get in there, but let's see. Uh, okay, well, I'm all the way down at the bottom there. Oh, there's still a couple items in here. Oh. I can't get into that door for some reason. Sometimes it'll tell you if the door's locked or not. What's nice about the blue squares is, you know, at least you can see that you have a item that's uh, in the room because it's really challenging to try and move around quickly. Here's another warp spot. See, I just walked over that one. Let's see, maybe I can find the uh, exit here pretty soon as well. an enemy in here. Wow. Now where is the other guy? There we go. Kind of suffering here with uh, a lot of the hits. There's a pair of boots down here. We go up to our main menu and you can go down here and equip him with uh, boots. And 
you can put the bow on him. Put this over here. Trying to scroll around this map is a bit tricky too. Like I said, it's just it's really really fast. Uh, you can enchant different weapons uh, by using the different scrolls that you have. Uh, let's give him some health here so he doesn't die. Well, that didn't heal him. Let's see. Put this on here. But as you can see, it is a, a pretty interesting, pretty good, uh, pretty good game for the most part. Um, just the moving around is the hardest part. And if uh, there's a spot where it doesn't work, like if you uh, choose a, an area where you want to put an item on the uh, the right side, uh, if it doesn't fit there, it'll make that errant sound, and you can't uh, can't use it. Uh, we'll try not to mess around with this too much here, see how far we can get. At least be able to show you a little bit of the second stage here, if I can find the door. And let's get on this. Let's see here. Hmm. Trying to find out where the exit is. There is an exit around here somewhere. Alright, these are the gauntlets that you can put on his hands. <clears throat> so I'll move those over here. You have that, that'll change some of his strength and his uh, abilities here. inside this room. Can't get inside there though. Kind of wandering around here a little bit too much. I can't remember exactly where the uh, the exit is for this one. motion sickness will probably get you sick after a while. Arr, just running into walls. There's another scroll. Hmm. Well, guys, um, <laughs> I was going to show you the second stage here, but I really can't remember where the... Uh, where the exit is for this to get into the next area. Well, maybe it, uh, hmm, I'm not so sure. But as you can see for, you know, for the game itself, it does have some pretty good graphics to it, um, for the most part. I mean, granted, you have to think about the time that it was made. Uh, it's made in the early 90s here, and, uh, Ah, here we go. Here's the next stage. Uh, made in the early 90s, and it does have that uh, Doom kind of look to it. Uh, at the bottom here, it'll say uh, the different parts, that how much of you uh, completed the stage, uh, how many of the items that you found. Um, so that's the, uh, the end of the first stage there. Now it's going into the second stage. But as I was saying, you know, do, just taking a look at the uh, the age of the game itself, it's not bad at all. Here's the second stage, second level. Once again, some really good music. Here you'll see a variety of some different characters as well. Some of the enemies in this game can't be killed just by regular hits. Uh, you need to use special items in order to kill them. 
Uh, there's some ghosts in here which are kind of difficult to uh, to hit. Uh, you can't kill them with just a regular weapon. So, but this video is already getting a little bit long here. Just want to give you a little bit of a look at what Advanced Dungeons and Dragons uh, Lost Dungeon look like here for the 3DO. And yeah, it's not a not a bad game once you get past the controls. Uh, music is definitely great, and uh, if you can find it for a reasonable price, I recommend picking it up. It's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.